gonna get out of this Hiram City, Hiram Town, and go to Brigham City, city of 20,000. <clears> now is a good time to leave as any. I did stay the night in this Ridley's shopping mart. Um, but yeah, I'm not sticking around. I, was, I would have been interested in like going, like climbing one of the mountains, but it's just a little too hostile around here for me. I mean, you got city workers. Oh, I'm going way too slow for that guy. I think it's like 45 down this road. Should be about 40. I'm going about almost 40. But yeah, that was uh, quite a situation yesterday. I don't want to. I, I mean, after as much time as I spent with those cops, now I just I just as soon leave. I'm not sure if Brigham City 40. Yep, there it is. I'm not sure if Brigham City is is in Cache County. I would think it's not. It's a 30 minute drive, but uh, it could be. Counties are pretty big. But, okay, 400 east. I think I want to take a right on 400 west. I'm pretty much heading back to the library. Beautiful mountain in the in the landscape there, in the in the in the distance. 40 miles an hour down this city road. I'm only a mile off. You know, it's I, I would have rather just been stayed parked overnight closer to the library. I didn't do much. I didn't do enough research. Uh, um, to figure out which direction to go for for Brigham City, I probably I would have tried to, to more likely park uh, uh, closer to to going to Brigham City. A mile makes a difference in a car for wear and tear. But oh well. Oh geez, I gotta stop. What for what? Oh, that little kid. School is kind of early in the morning still. All right. But yeah, it was around here that the, the cop harassed me and, wow, I could have gotten shot. It looked like I could have gotten shot in the gut. He was, was pointing at my gut. Um, oh, I see. <laughs> There's a sheriff there watching the, the traffic control guy. So if I would have if I would have blown on through, he would have pulled me over for sure. Yeah, there's there's quite a few sheriffs um, patrolling this town. I guess you know they didn't have the the, the they lost their their uh, local police force about 30 years ago. That's 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 something else. You think 7,000 people? Usually a city of 7,000 people that have their own police force, but that's not the case here. The they got a different setup. Oh, geez. So, uh, 400, I gotta take a right on. Um, 400, yeah, it's right here. Alright. So, this is the intersection, and I gotta take a left somewhere. It, it should be pretty clear. 101? 101. Uh, left on 101. Oh! Left on... Oh, the, the map is following me a little bit. So it's probably a left at this, this stop sign. Alright, I just want to, yeah, that's 101, and then I go quite a ways until I get to 89. Okay, so this, <laughs> it's called 300 North, but I'm pretty sure it's also called 101. Okay, yeah, you, you got to look down the road and there it says 101. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be approaching 89. So I'm whipping through here. This is now not exactly a, 
a scenic drive. People, people are in a hurry. It looks like 50 miles an hour up ahead. At least 50. Yep. You know, there's there's a few homes that have some nice nice Halloween decorations that are I never seen before. It's kind of neat. It's nice to walk through different cities and, at night too, because then you can really appreciate their Halloween decorations. Kind of neat. So like Christmas, Christmas is a good time of year because it's the the longest night of the year is about December 24th. So it's really good for Christmas decorations, you know, because Christians tend to value the Christmas time uh, pretty quite a bit, being the birth of Jesus Christ and all that. But the Mormons they don't value Christmas quite as much. They value Easter more. So whatever decorations they well, I don't even know how you just it's to me they say it's a rebirth. To me, it's just the death of Jesus. I don't. I don't believe anything comes back to life when it's after it's dead. In fact, Jesus really didn't seem to come back to life. I mean, and 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 how he did it. It did it. It was a very short, short-lasting event. Anyway, he didn't like come back to life and and rule the world for you know for many years. It was like within a span of a week, he just. He may have come back to life, but that was it. We no longer heard about him or, or heard heard of his his, uh, his activities after that. So whatever rebirth you know occurred within himself was uh, very short lived. It was just enough to to give the people the impression that he came back to life and ascended into heaven or something. Very short lived. Well, well, so that's, you know, Christmas is just, uh, I don't know, just a nicer time. But yeah, Halloween decorations are neat. You don't, you don't see quite as many Halloween decorations as you do Christmas decorations. I don't think at least. Just taking a guess. People, people may, oh, I think I'm going too slow. People may be more like oh, this is like a half-hour drive too. It's so long. People may be more likely to to get decorations for Christmas than they are for Halloween. All right, so I feel like oh, okay, I got to take a left here. All right, I even have signs to follow. Brigham sit. Oh, here, no, not here. Oh, okay, because that goes to a gas station. All right, so I take a left here. And it says it's 91, and it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be 89. So, um, I'm supposed to be taking a, it says I'm at the right intersection, the map is still following me. That's pretty cool. Alright, so just kind of waiting on that light, and looking at the map. Okay, it's, okay, 91 turns into 89, it's kind of a double... But this is the link. This is a major. This is this is the longest part of the drive. Oh, jeez! That bus was not about to stop for me. They just came out of nowhere. <laughs> I didn't. Wow. If I yeah well got through it at least. You get out of the way of big objects. It didn't even bother to beep. That would have been a situation where a lot of guys would have beeped at me. They were The bus was looking into the sun so it was a little dangerous. They may not have easily seen me because of the sun in their eyes. So yeah practicing my my rights. Oh, I'm only going 50. I gotta go faster. 60, I gotta pick it up. And then it might shoot up to 80 at some point on this highway. But it has got a lot of curves to it, so it's hard to say. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I was fight, trying to defend my rights because I, I know that I can 
I know I don't exactly have to identify myself upon demand. That's just ridiculous. All right. In Utah, they probably have different laws to support this demanding of ID. Um, and I might, I might have to might have to suffer an arrest to, to, to find out through the public defender what the Utah law is. I don't want that to happen. It could have happened yesterday. I could have gotten arrested and then been stuck in, in this area. But the guy, the guy was given a little bit more leeway. He wasn't quick to arrest. But uh, yeah, that, that definitely would have kept me around the area. Having to to figure out all the legal legal stuff for Utah, which I wouldn't think would be too much different. I would have been inclined to use the Idaho law, unless they have a more local Utah law to support their their arguments. The, the state of Idaho versus Godwin, 1991. I mean, that's that's pretty local. Being a neighboring state, you can do that. So you can reference neighboring state laws as your arguments but that that kind of works in my favor because this cop was just curious who I was it wasn't it wasn't exactly to serve a, a public good to see who I was it was just a simple call that I was parked in a public spot I wasn't exactly breaking any laws so it's, it's just silly you know I I, did, I wasn't obligated to, to, to give him my my information. That's a Fourth Amendment violation. But uh, you know, I'm willing to identify myself. It's just I asked the cops to identify who they are, which they refused to do. Deer migration area next four miles, Brigham City and 15. It's just you got to drive a little slower though. It's uphill, of course. So we're going through a mountain range to get to the Brigham City. Looks like a lot of the le the trees have lost their leaves at this point. They don't. They look kind of bare to me. Still climbing a considerable distance. But yeah, it's Fourth Amendment trumps everything. And I, it's just you know, what do I? How do I explain that to the cops? It's, you know, there may be like this. I, I have to identify myself, and you know, they're gonna argue that. Well, it's it's the law. You have to identify yourself. I, I mean, I, I I have legal protection. I'm supposed to have legal protection against search and seizures, but every one of those every one of those rights have been violated with threats and intimidation. You know, give up my name. Show, you know, let them let them rumble, let them rummage through my car. You know, every <laughs> every aspect of the Fourth Amendment was violated yesterday. It's sad. It's because the dog, the dog had an inclination. Everything was reliant on a an inconsistent dog. You know. It's, it just it just goes back to that the George Bush uh, fallacy where they said the British reported that Iraq had nuclear weapons and and the British report and the British were relying on a, a different obscure report that Iraq had nuclear weapons so it was, it was all it, it, there was nothing in solid there's no solid evidence to support their arguments just like their curiosity is it's based a lot on their curiosity and that that violates your fourth amendment rights it's ridiculous and sheriffs seem to be the worst at it the sheriff deputies are the are the least are the least educated all right is that a state patrol it looks like almost a sheriff state patrol state highway all right, so yeah, it's really, yeah, there's a lot of green. So there's some pine, there's evergreen up in the hills. You know, I've been climbing this hill for the past five, ten minutes. So now we're getting close to the evergreens. It would, it took me like an, an hour and a half walk to, to get to the part, part where there are evergreens on the, on the top of the hill. 
they, they do better they do better towards the top not so much the bottom and why that is I don't know they just handle cooler weather better or something but yeah this okay this is about the crescent now I should pay attention for a sign that shows the elevation of this the, the, the top a lot of times they like to put a sign on the highway saying that your, your topmost peak how high up you are all right it's coming down a little bit but yeah I was thinking you know just just like one more day would have been pretty neat in in a high room to look to, to try to get on top of a hill try to get on top of a mountain I'm all rested up ready to go now I got this half hour now I chose to do this half hour drive half an hour oh that's that's pretty much yeah that's that's too much I'm spending too much money on travel costs so yeah I I don't know if I want to drive to the library it's I want to bicycle there first or at least walk there first 60 I'm going 50 behind this guy and I don't mind it I don't mind going 50 the camper off in the distance on a golf course some guys just camping and <clears throat> I guess he might own the property <clears throat> no trespassing sign on the fence <laughs> deer migration I just thought I don't understand this is an extra tall fence these are extra tall fences on either side of the road so there's not much migration going on I got the signs but uh, yeah deers aren't migrating so much they have to find their way around this fence they can't jump a fence as tall as this on either side it's like six feet that, that tall fence definitely is not designed for the cows yeah and there's cows off in the distance fence around the cows fence around this this highway just fence everywhere when did we get to the point where we had so much fence fencing's a good industry these days there's so much of it just walling bury putting barriers up and we'll have it for a long time too in my life we'll have plenty of fence available in my lifetime there'll be plenty of fence all around because gas gas is going to take a lot still the gas is going to last past my lifetime it's, you know less less it'll be it, but it'll be less than a hundred years it's that it's that critical point where gas is like gas is coming to an end and alternative energy I think is probably proving to be a bit of a failure in my opinion because when the when the alternative energies break down you, it's it's it seems to me to be pretty much impossible to replace the alternative energy uh, devices using alternative energy it's just too hard you really need the, the gas to make to make the alternative energy stuff they want to they want to make all the alternative stuff now that we have gas readily available that way in the future when uh, the gas does run out we'll have the alternative energy to rely on but that stuff will break down you got to think they don't they don't fact they don't seem to factor in the uh, the stuff breaking down and the the wear and tear oh look at that a different county so long Cache County hello box elder county all right so now that's it I'm done with uh, those guys I know I won't have to deal with their their office but I mean am I really going to a better better place hard to say I mean as it's and it's hard to say the closer I get to a capital is that gonna be the worse the cops get it really depends on the county because I had no problems when I was in Olympia which is the capital of Washington plenty of problems around Boise no problems around Salem Oregon the capital of Oregon 
but it's hard to say for Utah. It just the capital may be a factor, but it may not really matter so much. All right, I gotta get over. This guy is gonna slow down too much. All right. Oh wow, and I'm gonna miss. That guy's blocking the view of something that looks kind of neat. It says a sign. There's a building. It says keep out, no trespassing. It's pretty broken down though, and I'm still still falling here. 60 miles an hour. I think that's the speed limit. And it's uh, this next seven miles is a big descent. Wow, that's a big descent. Seven miles of of decline. Just seven miles of riding the brake. The way it looks. That's that's something else. It'd be quite a nice climb uh, on foot for the exercise. So much fence. So many private properties. It's it's pretty treeless. It's it's barely not many hardly any trees. Just and uh, yeah, I'm going into the sun quite a bit with the dirty windshield. 60. I'm going 65. I feel pressure in my ears from this fast descent. At 65, I'm definitely feeling well until I swallow or whatever. But yeah, there's there's definitely an altitude difference. That could be felt in the ears. 60, I'm hitting the brake a little bit because I seem to be approaching other cars kind of fast. Engine brakes restricted next mile. Oh my god, there's a there's a cop car on the incoming lane, pulled somebody over. Now what they pulled them over for? Speeding? Going up this hill? Were they speeding? Beautiful scenery out, out there. It's Probably another man-made reservoir. Maybe not. Who knows? I'm going. I'm going the speed limit. Just applying the brake. Man, to uh, just got to drive carefully. Lots of hills in Utah. Lots of these mountainous hills. Nobody can build anything on them. <laughs> They're just there. They're not protected. I don't. Well, you got to protect your. You got to protect. They're not. They're not sacred. Okay. If somebody wanted to be crazy enough, I don't know who. If if somebody can own these mountains, they probably do. They're used for graze land or something. Nobody. Not many people dare to build on top of these hills. Just by the look of the hills, they look fairly active. Like they're definitely falling. I mean. That would explain why there's not so many trees on them because the ground is given way too much, too frequently, and the trees are getting pulled down. But you don't you don't really see the trees. You don't really see fallen trees, so it's not a big factor that uh, the the uh, <clears throat> the landslides are are uh, keeping the trees tree populations down. The, the weather is quite a factor as well. Combination of of harsh weather and and landslide activity on these hills is going to keep the trees at a minimum. You know, they just start growing. You know, it takes them many years to the, the extreme weather, heat and and uh, cold, lack of moisture, and then there's a landslide after after putting in effort to, to grow yeah it just doesn't work all right so I, I seem to I'm feeling a little pressure in my ears again it's a warning for falling rocks and uh, I'm pretty sure the dot has lost track of me all right nobody's behind me but yeah for quite a distance in fact I should almost see the Walmart from this this road of staying on it Brigham City in a mile and a half well that'd be the first turn off wow already still descending it did say seven miles so you really do quite a climb to go from say Logan to Brigham City on this highway quite a quite a peak they, they probably had to cut through a lot of this and there's warning of falling rock they cut deep here 
and uh, now there's a uh, you know, falling rock problem. Brigham City, you can see the Mormon churches off in the distance. One of the first buildings that you see entering. Oh, all right. Going too slow for that guy. 6%, so I'm guessing that's pretty steep. It's quite a, quite a drop. Um, yeah. Brigham City, no, 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 no. No, do I, I doubt I do that. Brigham City, I doubt. Is that, do I do an exit? I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't. Uh, actually, I might. It's not clear to me. I didn't study the map close enough. I might be missing Brigham City at this point. It's not clear. Yeah, it's definitely not clear. I think I, I think I did need to take that right. 1100 east south. So if I go past that, I'm really gonna be lost because the map isn't following me. I just I, it, it's it's not a big city. So why, how many how many exits are there gonna be? I would think there's more than one. And it didn't, it wouldn't really say how many exits. I'm just going to need to take the next exit. And uh, hope I'm not too far. Still descending 55. Just not clear where I'm at now. 80, 89, I don't know, it's... I take 80, it's all like, almost like Walmart is off of this road. That, that exit for Brigham City is just, it's really hard to say. I can't, I can't really see any, any Walmarts. Be prepared to stop. Oh, yeah, okay, I gotta stop up here. Um. Yeah, it'd be really nice if this map knew where I was. Uh, uh, geez, it's... Alright, it's, it's uh, looking like a matter of <clears throat> just having to pull over and really get familiar with this map. Preferably at a, at a McDonald's. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm just looking at this in confusion. I, I don't, I just don't have a clue. I would, I would hope that there's a Walmart on this road, but I could be sorely mistaken. I, I take, it really looks like there's a Walmart on this road, I swear. I just, it's, it's really, difficult to tell um, yeah there's gas stations oh, oh oh there it is there's the Walmart okay I wanted to take that left no I'll just want to take a left somewhere uh, but this highway is so heavily populated that I don't see any chance of taking a left there's there's no turnoff for a left and this one on the left is, is looking like it's kind of blocked. Uh, yeah, I definitely... Uh, I want to turn around, but I don't see a turn. I want to go back to that Walmart. I know where I'm at, and I think I could just do a U-turn. What the heck is going on around here? I'm just going to have to do, try a U-turn around and hope for the best because this is this is crazy 55 is pretty reasonable it's not a not exactly a, a, a highway where you can't do u-turns I didn't see any signs so yeah just going back to Walmart there's just so much construction going on they've got they got this intersection on 
on both sides blocked off for their work and yeah you got all these traffic cones to stop me from pulling off to the side man that's like a trap I didn't know where I was going but alright gonna go to Walmart they got an RV park on the other side of the Walmart so that's not a good sign and the Walmart might try they might put up signs saying no no overnights because because of that RV park I bet that RV park had a word with with Walmart and com for competition purposes they don't want any competition alright so as soon as you enter I'm sure there's gonna be a sign that says no overnight Uh, alright, uh, yeah, alright, I'm not quite entering Walmart then. No loitering? That's a real issue around here. I've been seeing quite a few more no loitering signs around these areas. They're really big on loitering. There's a subway pickup. There's a pickup sign. Camera signs. Yeah, it's... It's going to be a pretty nice day today, so what the heck, I'll just park in here and call it done.